Hello there, hola, and welcome to my YouTube channel here at Benidorm and beyond. I'm an English woman who's lived here in the resort for over 20 years, and my aim is to bring you a fresh and different take on all there is to see, do, and enjoy in Benidorm, so here we go. Today's vlog brings you an up-to-date look at some of the building and renovation works that are going on in Benidorm at the moment, which follows my recent videos over the last few months covering the same theme. We start in the Upper Rincon de Loix area, along Avenida Monte Carlo, where the Hotel Benidorm Celebrations Music Resort and the Vacanza Holiday Apartments can be found, where extensive roadways have recently been taking place. The new infrastructure has now been laid after the roads having been dug up for several weeks, causing diversions, dust and noise, with everything now completely finished, no doubt to the relief of nearby businesses, and a smart new wider grey and blue tiled pavement added and laid, stretching right to the end of the road. Many other nearby streets have been tarmacked too, with potholes being filled at the same time, and this has mainly centred around the streets where the Hotel Rialto and Apart Hotels Levante Beach and Levante Club Resort are situated. Staying in the Rincon de Loix, we now head down to Avenida Dr. Severa Ochoa, which is one of the main busy thoroughfares in and out of this neighbourhood, and also packed with hotels, cabaret venues, bars and restaurants, including the well-known Corner Bar, where we see the large site that used to house both the Maxi Dia Superstore, as well as the El Corte Chino Chinese shop, which sold everything and anything, and a little bit more besides too. As I've shown you previously, the Chinese shop has now moved to considerably smaller premises, although they do stretch a long way back, taking over part of the site of the old Showboat 21 nightclub venue and restaurant, just further up along the street, but on the other side of the road. With the bulldozers having moved in on this large space at the end of June, completely demolishing both structures and then eventually clearing the resulting debris, they are now ready to start the enormous building project ahead, which will bring Benidorm its first ever branch of the German-founded superstore of Lidl. Only in the last week, in fact, the first digger has broken ground and finally started the building project, and yes, I did say the first and only digger at the moment, and hopefully they will now crack on with getting this huge new retail site erected, as it will be great to have a large supermarket like this actually in the town again, instead of just in the neighbouring villages where incidentally three Lidls already exist. And for those without any transport of their own to these places, along with any passing pedestrian trade, I'm sure this brand new hypermarket will be a great asset to the area, so let's hope they pull their fingers out and crack on. Next up, we move down to Avenida Zamora, where you can find the Luxmar and Playa Mar apartments, as well as a local cinema and extensive football fields and sports grounds, where we come to a large space which used to be a free municipal car park, as you can see, which was very handy for people visiting the local amenities, which I have just mentioned. It is now, however, being turned into a new health centre for the residents of Benidorm, with work finally having started earlier this year, after many believing that the construction of this long-promised new building would never actually come to fruition. With temporary workmen's huts brought in and foundations dug out, it looks like this development has been given some priority over the summertime, when typically work in Spain can be slow or even come to a complete standstill, and it seems to be progressing well, as you can see as the video unfolds. The project has a budget of 4.3 million euros, with an expected completion time of 23 months in total, and this spacious new facility will replace the current ambulatorio, or health centre, on the adjacent street of Avenida Juan Fusta Zaragoza, which runs down to the bi-weekly outdoor market. With the Rincon de Loix having a high local population, as well as swelling by thousands monthly due to the many nearby hotels and holiday apartment blocks, the current clinic is already overwhelmed with not only residents, but also tourists who can use this facility on production of their GHIC card for emergency treatment. So no doubt, this much, much bigger structure will be vital for years to come, as Benidorm just keeps growing and growing and getting busier and busier. Finally, moving just along from this area, down the street to the junctions of Avenida de Ciudad Real and Cayo Dr. Santiago Ramón y Cajal, we see that the new extension to the private hospital, the IMED Levante, is continuing, although it's still quite a way off completion as yet. 
All the noisy underground works have now been finished for quite a while though, which should be a cause for celebration for those staying at the nearby Hotel Flamingo Oasis, as their gardens, grounds and some of their room's balconies look out onto this busy building site. The brand new building that they hoped would open in the first quarter of 2023, but has obviously missed this deadline, will be an extension of the IMED Levante Private Hospital, which is immediately next to the building site. You can receive emergency medical attention here if you're on holiday and have travel insurance papers and ID with you, with the staff being fully bilingual, so you don't need to worry about the hassle of finding and taking a translator along with you. I've been popping down to film footage of the progress every few weeks and today's video is a compilation of this, bringing you bang up to date and showing that the buildings are now flying up. The project will cost approximately 24 million euros in total and will make IMED Levante the largest private hospital in the province of Alicante and see the hospital double its capacity. The structure is being built in the previous car parking area attached to the current IMED hospital building and will be connected to it through a large hall. The new facilities will be made up of a basement, semi-basement, ground floor and six upper floors which will house 40 new rooms for hospitalisation, four operating theatres for outpatient surgery with a recovery area and more than 80 outpatient offices. In addition, a large multi-purpose room will be set up for informative talks or medical meetings of various kinds. And likewise, thanks to the new underground car park in the new building, IMED Levante will offer up to 358 spaces. CEO of the Grupo IMED Hospitals, Angel Gomez, said the objective of this expansion is to meet the growing demand for IMED Levante services and improve the quality of care it offers its patients. It's essential to keep our value proposition alive, which revolves around the patient and which forces us to offer them the best professional care with the latest technology and in a space that is as comfortable as possible. This will take us all the way to the end of the vlog and I hope that you've enjoyed seeing some current video footage of your beloved resort of Benidorm and what's going on here at the moment. If you did enjoy watching and listening with me, then please check out some of my other videos which show you many accommodation options in Benidorm with full reviews and inside footage of lots of the most popular hotels, as well as taking you on info-packed street and beachfront walks and bringing you lots of local news, updates and reviews on cafes, bars and new businesses and just about anything else I can think of as well. Thanks so much for watching as always and I'll see you out and about next time. Take care, have a good day and hasta pronto. Cheers!